It's something you've never seen before. I'm just trying to compute this. Oh my goodness, it's got a balcony on the back. There is a spiral staircase. I'm just absolutely amazed. You are literally are the mad professor of the RV life. I've never heard or seen of that before. Get out of here. Is that a washer dryer? We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Oh, mind your head, Chris. Oh, <laughs> Good morning. First full day waking up in the car park here in Duncan. <laughs> Yeah. I'm getting post-traumatic stress from the car park in Istanbul. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it won't be 95 days. But we've, we've had some good news. Ursula's been messaging overnight from Turkey. We're pretty sure that he's managed to find the one part that we couldn't find online yesterday, which is fantastic because that means that there is a solution, which already is 99% of our mental state. If you, if you don't know whether it's solvable, yeah. It's a lot more stressful, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. It's the not knowing, like yeah. any situation. Uh, but we have an epic team of people, don't we? Absolutely. Uh, we have well, good news, we think. The Ram Pro Master and this have identical axles. Really? Yeah, except for the brake system, which is disc on or Pro Master, but drum on here. I'm not sure how those would interact. Well, the good news is our contact in Turkey's found that part. Okay. The part that you can't Do you want find? to show him the picture on the, yeah. the thing? The knuckle on the yeah. coffee? Uh, I've never seen him with a coffee. Really. <laughs> Sean, Mick, Nick, and Kim. Nick, Kim. <laughs> how are you? How are you? <laughs> we're just waiting to offer some moral support. <laughs> And coffee. And, and coffee. coffee. And coffee. They were the ones yeah. stuck waiting for parts for ages. Stuck in parking lots, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We had yeah. it in Regina. We were stuck there for three weeks. And that's what I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I heard over one tiny little sensor over yeah. 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 It happens. So here you go. Home sweet home. And our neighbors are uh, our neighbors are leaving. Yeah, we're getting ready to leave. Yeah, leaving the island. We'll see you later, big man. Ah. <laughs> nice hanging out with you guys. See you Aww. later. Aww. Aww. We get to hug twice because they filmed it and now I'm feeling it too. <laughs> it, is, it is the way of YouTube. <laughs> the way of YouTube. You Double guys. hugs. Double, Double hugs. hugs, look. Aww. So have a safe journey. Thank you. We hope we will see you maybe in Mexico or down the that route. Lovely. Um, and just keep safe and keep in touch. In we'll touch. video call. You're going to be out of here in no time. We'll be out of here before the 95 days that we were last time. Hey. I, I said before nine. I'm calling it. I'm calling nine? Nine days. Nine days. Nine oh. days. You already have the parts. You already have the parts. No, we, maybe... we sourced the We think we sourced yeah. the parts. Yeah. yeah. Some it's coming not... from Turkey, some coming from Slovenia. Um, but we and... haven't. We need to wait till Monday when everybody's open that we can yeah. talk. But we think, maybe... we think it's good. It's positive. I'm feeling happy now. Yeah. Adios, amigos. Happy I'm not jealous that van works at all. <laughs> so it's Sunday morning and uh, we woke up early this morning. There was a knock on the door and it was the organizer of the local car boot sale um, saying, can you move your van? We have a car boot sale in this car park every Sunday. Um, and uh, <laughs> I said, we explained the situation and th they were very cool about it. But I'm just going to show you out of the roof. Let me show you this. So we are literally right in the middle of a car boot sale. I'm the star of the show. <laughs> I have got so many sets of eyes on me right now because I'm fitting out my solar panel <laughs> in a car park. Are we not normal? Is we're, there something wrong with us? We're completely normal. I don't know what's, why nobody understands that. W what is that? <laughs> yes, it's another day here in the car park. 
in Duncan. One of the problems we've had being parked up so long stationary is our electric because Trudy normally charges in two ways either while she's driving which is definitely not happening right now or by these solar panels on the roof we've got two solar panels you can see they're pretty dusty and uh, that really affects the way they charge plus the fact that we've had quite a number of cloudy days and then Trudy's electric runs really really low it's also quite noisy in the car park because there's a wood mill right there so our jackery 500 has been an absolute lifesaver to us whilst we can't move in this car park you know that we love to share with you life on the road and that includes products that we use on a daily basis this is one of them so we feel really lucky to be invited to partner up with jackery again and the great thing is with a portable power bank it's portable and i like the fact that this uh, that comes in a hard case because in the past our foldable solar panels have actually bust the electrics have bust on the corners and the joints and we haven't had a problem with this at all another very cool thing about this solar panel is that it's actually got a usb-c and a usb socket straight on the solar panel so you can plug your products directly in that's it mobile phone is charging and it's really easy to set up it literally just unfolds there's two supports that come out of the back here the cable comes out it just plugs in and straight away you can see that it's charging there 48 watts 39 percent and because we're in a car park in the middle of a town with cars that do drive in and out of the car park we're setting up one of our hazard triangles to put next to the solar panel so that nobody drives over it because although it's got a hard case it's not that hard <laughs> this jackery 500 has come on many an adventure with us including when we drove all the way to the arctic ocean because there's not a lot of sun at the arctic ocean sign and really cool in a van is to have a normal plug socket which means you can plug in some of those other devices that we wouldn't normally be able to such as a kitchen blender <laughs> and this year is Jackery's 10th anniversary which means they're giving away huge amounts of prizes so you need to go check out their Instagram, Facebook and their website because there's going to be 10 lucky winners on each platform and we'll pop a link to their website in the description below Good morning. Yes, we're still in the same car park. It is Friday again today. It is a week uh, since we arrived here and uh, Trudy's parts are ordered. We are expecting it to be another week before they arrive. But today we've got something quite cool to go and see. We met a guy who has a very special, very large RV motorhome camper off-grid setup. And I think it's probably something you've never seen before. I certainly haven't. So we're in Marianne's, Aunt Julia's van, JB. JB! <laughs> and uh, this has been a lifesaver for us because it allows us to go out and do the shopping whilst Trudy is not in action. And uh, so let's go and check out this weird motorhome RV truck setup. Okay, so Clayton said it was about two kilometers down this road, which should be pretty soon. Did he not actually give you like an address? We don't have an address. He just basically said, if you drive down this road, you won't miss it, which is a little bit disturbing because that means it's absolutely monstrous. Okay, we think that it's here. <laughs> it is because he's waving. There you go. And there is Clayton, all waiting for us. <laughs> Good morning, sir. 
How are you? We're in a different van because- I, I noticed that. Because Trudy's in the garage and she's waiting for parts. So we're, we're using the- How are you doing? I'm great. Nice to see you. That is not an RV. We drove past it and I'm like, are you sure it's that? It looks, it's so big. So this is Clayton's motorbike. Are you taking that in your truck? Uh, yeah, it'll go in the, in the tow hauler back with the boat. With the boat? You're taking a boat? Yeah. That's a beautiful Honda there. I'm not jealous at all. The fact you can fit it in your, in your, it's not a motorhome. What do you call this? What, what is the name of your truck? No, it invents something. It invents something. <laughs> The monster, the monster well, it, RV. It, well, it's Nomad Monster. Nomad, Nomad Monster. monster. That's your YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yeah, I, it, it is a monster. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go and have a look at your monster. But I bet nobody <laughs> gives you any road rage, will they? <laughs> <laughs> and if you park somewhere that you're not supposed to, they can't even tow you. This is the beast. I've, I've just never seen an RV. I'm just trying to compute this. There you go. He's got it on the side here. Private motorhome. So how long have you owned this? Uh, about six years. And how long has it taken you to convert? About 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels like, but... Uh, I just know. can't believe the size. And how it's like got, how many wheels has it got? Well, I've got super singles on the back. So instead of two on each, I've got one. So there's four there and then the two on the front. And they're big. They're big wheels. You're not going to be changing those by the side of the road, I don't think. No, brand new. Oh, I love this. this is huge. Look how far away Marianne is. Look at this, it's incredible. Oh my goodness, it's got a balcony on the back. It's got a balcony. You're like, you're like the mad professor of RV life. I've been I called love that. that. Before. Oh, and it's got tread the globe. Oh, let's just have a look. We got a tread the globe sticker. Oh, I love that. Wow, look at that's my favorite part so far. Look at so that. there's a balcony and it looks like there's a room up there as well. Oh yeah, well. Like an open sitting room yeah. with a balcony. And it, it flips up. Wow. And then, then, then the roof goes down. This RV truck is so big. It not only has a balcony, but it also has a staircase. Yes, it's two floors. I'm just absolutely amazed at the height of it the size of it, it's just, yeah, it's nuts. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to look inside. <laughs> Not that hard to drive, really. Really? You have, you've obviously got a special driving license. Yeah, class one. How are you doing? Hi. Your husband is the mad professor of RV life. I know. Oh, wow. Everything on the outside is metal when it's closed up when we're traveling. So it's totally secure. Okay, it's a shoes off kind of RV and we're going in, Marianne's face already. I mean, just the size of the step is three times bigger than Trudy's. Okay. I love that. Trudy might be tiny, oh but Oh my this is There is a spiral staircase in this. I'm just wow. absolutely amazed. I'll, I'll give These you a, a shot of the uh, garage. We're starting from the back. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we are in the back of the truck now and we have a garage, but not just an ordinary garage. We have a, a workshop. We've got all of the tools, your inverters, your power stuff. Uh, air conditioning. But how much power do you, do you need for this? The truck is 450 horsepower. Wow. And I've got 5,000 watts of uh, solar on the roof. 5,000 watts. 5, watts. The whole the whole roof is is solar panels, and then it goes through the inverter here, uh, which charges the batteries. These are my my latest purchase. Oh my batteries. goodness, these are batteries. Yeah, lithium batteries. Um, I now have 50,000 watt hours. Are you listening to that? That is ridiculously madly large. It, it allows me to go about a week uh, without sun. Well, the trailer here uh, weighs 11,000 kilos and I'm allowed 22,000 kilos. So I'm only half the weight that... Oh my goodness. So you can still go shopping, Clayton. <laughs> well, and then, and then the bike 
the bike goes in here. Oh, so this is where your so, motorbike goes. Yeah, so this ramp unfolds. This goes down. Okay. Uh, so that, that folds down to put the ramp on it. And then the, the bike comes up here. Oh my goodness. And then we've got a little electric bike that fits in here. An electric bike as well. And I can see another another toy here. What is this? It's a boat. Boat. Oh my goodness. And with that, I've got it set up. So if I if I lower the, the ramp, back the truck into here, I can take this directly from here, slide it right up onto the back of the truck, uh, and then use that to go launching the boat. This is amazing. Every, everybody <laughs> says if you get an RV, go as big as you can because you're going to run out of space real quick. This way is base camp and then work out from there. Where are you going to park this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're not sure yet. You're not sure yet. Yeah, some RV parks are big enough um, uh, on traveling with rest stops and Walmarts and whatever. Yeah. Some of the bigger ones I can, I can probably get into. But yeah. Uh, I can get into spaces that it doesn't look like this will get into. And you're not worried about reversing this? Oh, no, no. I've got, you, a, I've got a camera back Oh, you've got there. reversing cameras. And uh, I'm setting up a network. I've got a whole bunch of cameras I'm going to put around, and I'll show you where. where oh, that okay. Comes um, absolutely there. amazing. So, a whole workshop here. <laughs> huh? Turn this up on the Amphibious way. vehicle. I feel like I'm in something from James Bond. This system here, the kitchen. Um, the kitchen water gets recycled. Oh, really? So the war the hot kitchen water goes into this tank here, which gets through the pump, and then up through uh, a, another filter, and then this filter, and then a mic, and, and then to a, a pressure tank in there, and then this is a micro fine filter that will take bacteria out it's so fine so it makes the it makes you, the normal water safe again and then it just for general use for any use yeah you could even drink it and then just as a double check i've got a uv filter up in here that goes through okay and then through a and how many times does it recycle it forever well if the odors can build up Okay. Uh, I, I put in uh, microbes to to eat away at, at any stuff that's in Break it down. So, so that breaks it down, and then um, it eventually it just off. Uh, Absolutely. Empty. And then you've got a winch here, look, to pull your your boat back in. Yep. This is amazing. And then we're coming back in. The kitchen. To the kitchen. Hold on. I just want to. On the back of this door already, that's making use of space. You got all your food stored there, which is fabulous. Can you stand up? I can stand up. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm six foot three, and it, this is actually a perfect height for me. I love these work counters. Solid wood. It has a good uh, brand name on it. So this is our brand name. Oh, it's even Clayton's <laughs> own brand. Look at that. I, I had to design them to fit, so so the factory was nice enough to build to my design. Who does the cooking? He does. He does. I do the dishes. Ah, uh, that's how uh, it get, is in ours if as you well. Get divorced, give me a call. <laughs> Look at this. All the very clever detail is having everything attached, so yeah. it can't move around. Genius. The backsplash here. Uh, you can draw on it. It's like your own whiteboard. That's what we need in the van. How many capacity is your water tank? Fresh water uh, is uh, three 600 litre tanks. So you can... Three 1800. And then I've got uh, 250 litre black tank and a 250 litre yellow tank and a 250 litre um, grey water tank. And then I've got the hot water tank and the, the bath water tank. Just to put it into record, Trudy's got 70 litres of water. <laughs> and your fridge isn't a normal fridge either. It is no, a regular, full... Regular... Um, house it's a house fridge. fridge. It's a house fridge, yeah. <laughs> but it's a, it's a big um, American style yeah. house fridge. Well, that's where we are. Uh, exactly, I know. Oh, so am I, but mine's uh, yeah, mine's the size of like one drawer of your of yours. We had these uh, uh, theater seats. We we're going to put in Teresa's tea room, 
Oh, fantastic! Didn't didn't go there, so now uh, they're here. Oh, they actually come down like a, they come down like a theatre. Look at that. So they're the antique theatre seats. So we have sandblasted the outside and reupholstered them, and uh, turned out quite nice. Well, that was my dad's. Uh, when uh, they were in China, mm -hmm. that's my grandfather. He was some big wig in Russia, and but they got kicked out in the revolution. Mm -hmm. So when they're coming through China as a guest of the emperor of China, mm -hmm. uh, that was part of what they brought back. And then this here, again, the, it closes off. But oh, it's all on a, a little, a little wheel system. Yeah. You have the ultimate window. I mean, that's like the size of our, the size of the side of our van, really. It's like, you have an RV truck with the spiral staircase. I've never ever heard or seen of that before. Well, it is a co compact space, and when drawing it out, that was pretty much the only way to go to make it actually happen. That's incredibly unique. And the floor is floor. beautiful old style wood. It's actually solid oak, but it's about that thick. Wow. And that's the way they built the, the trailer in the first place. That That's from the factory. And then that's the uh, pellet stove. Put it into perspective. Yeah. Look at the size of this pellet stove. I mean, it, it comes up to my waist. You know, forget the diesel heater or the propane gas bottle. This is, this is uh, absolutely Serious. amazing. I'd like to say that some boys who uh, move into bands and stuff don't like to give up their toys. <laughs> and, and I get a feeling that, uh, I, like I for instance, our sons would be horrified at having to give up their gaming console, <laughs> their big screen TVs. Well, actually, I think Clayton's. I got think Clayton's a got. A, he's problem. probably. Have you got a man cave upstairs? <laughs> right here. Oh, right <laughs> here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that what it is? <laughs> Have a look. As a video editor and a YouTuber as well. <laughs> that's where I can edit. I'm actually speechless. Yeah. A 75 inch plasma TV that's linked to that's linked to your computer. On the computer or or TV. Uh, and I've got some decent sound uh, speakers here and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. If that's a 75 inch TV, you know how big this speaker is. Yeah, and the modem I'm building. Um, I've, I've got a uh, Raspberry Pi uh, computer, so I'm, I'm building my own uh, router motors, mo modem system. And then he's got a sofa. We could sit here and just like watch movies, yep. like have a lad's night watching old movies. Yep. And then for snacks. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a snacks table, so you can put your popcorn and. Yep. Can I just say, as a woman... I'm speechless. As a woman, there is going to be a lot of wives out there who whose husband has a van or a motorhome or even a schoolie, and they'll be saying, but I want this. How, how are you making me live in this little tiny van when... There's a whole other floor up here. I just have this. Yeah, and, and it, it was built for my height, so... You might have to duck yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's okay. That's no worries. <laughs> I could have all of this stuff. You don't want to upgrade, do you? Wow. <laughs> you Let see what go. you've done? No. You you are literally are the mad professor of the RV life. <laughs> you you literally, I'm actually gobsmacked. And this is epic. This, this is, is epic. I'm blown away. Okay, we're going upstairs now. Up this wooden spiral staircase. Look at the size of that air conditioning unit. Oh my goodness. He's got a library. This is Teresa's library. That's his man cave. This is my library. This is Teresa's Teresa's lady cave. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just point out the plush shag carpet and the elegance and exuberance <laughs> of this area with the library? Do is that is to open the window, but also uh, this can be changed up for just screening. Yes. Uh, keep the bugs out and and oh, the so the, and the air flowing. We've got all these books. A John lovely reclining Grisham. chair. Lovely. This is the bedroom. The bigger one is hers. That's right. Obviously. And all the storage under the bed. <laughs> yeah, this is the bed moves back and forth, so I don't have to climb in here. I can just move it. Oh, it's oh, on! It's nice. on a slider. Oh. 
are. So at night you move it so you can get into bed, and yeah. then in the morning when you're packing up, you just push it away. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. That. And, and was it was it hard for you guys to go from obviously from your house? Was it hard to work out what to bring, like clothes wise and stuff, or have you got it all sorted? Or are you gonna are you gonna put everything. an extended wardrobe on? No, they well, brought everything. I'm, I'm having an extended wardrobe because I'm not giving up a lot of my clothes. Good for you. But we have a not only these and the storage under the bed, but we also have here. a full length closet at the other. Oh, end. you got more. You got another yeah. closet. Yeah. Oh, and storage under and the bed. Storage under the bed. So you managed to get everything you wanted in. That's Oops. great. Pretty much. And if I have to I sort that. again, I will. Yeah. But at the moment. At the moment, you're happy. Did you notice the walls? Oh, the walls are fabric. Oh my goodness, Clayton, have you got storage of the walls? No, but I got oh, wire, okay. wires and plumbing and... Oh, okay. yeah. oh and, and you can, can access everything. Yeah. Okay, guys, there is a living room at the back of the truck. Pellet stove. Correct. Another pellet stove. A AC heating cooling AC. Uh, this is uh, and a little fridge. Or you got another fridge just for drinks for while you're relaxing. No. Go big or go home. Okay. I go big that. or go home. I, I like that. that. Well, we then... normally refer to our adventures like that rather than the yeah, vehicle. We've but... been on the adventure <laughs> for us is go big or go home. Yeah. But you've taken it literally to another step. Oh, and the uh, library back there, it also has a TV. Oh. She can sit there and watch TV and there's another one there. So you don't have to argue who has the remote control. <laughs> oh, is, it, is the or TV the in the wall? Or the movies. The TV Are the TVs the behind there? Yeah. You see, I, you so do I, store, you do, you're hiding bits in the walls, Clayton. TV there or you can uh, put it up and... <laughs> you're a legend. You, you, you guys are absolute legends. The nutty professor of the oh. RV world. I just <laughs> love the detail on the ceiling. Everything's just so beautifully well put together. It uh, holds uh, just over 900 litres of diesel. When I picked the, the trailer up from California and drove it to um, Calgary and then back here, I was using roughly 28 litres per 100 kilometres. Look at this. Out the back of the truck, there is a two-seater balcony <laughs> where you get the ultimate view. What do you reckon, love? I reckon that if we ever upgraded Trudy, we should definitely have We could put there. a balcony on it. We should definitely open Trudy's back doors and have like a little pull-out deck. To put away the balcony, it's remote controlled. <laughs> You've literally thought of everything. Did you do it yourself? Everything. You did everything yourself? Everything. Yeah. And that, that's it's my mum. Oh, that's nice. You're bringing her with you, though. <laughs> yep. That's beautiful. And my mum and dad. And just just okay. make sure you secure it before you drive. Yeah. That's yeah. the only yeah. thing I would recommend. They go on the couch. <laughs> they go on the couch. That's I lovely that. that they're with you. Jetted. Jetted tub. You have a hot tub. You have a jacuzzi. Yeah. <laughs> of course, doesn't everyone? No! <laughs> we have a bucket! <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Is that a sewing room? Yep. <laughs> Is that yours or his? It's his! You can sew too! Yeah. You're that's, just... That's my mum's. You're, I think you're officially a legend, Clayton. You are literally a legend. Um, hold on. Get out of here. Is that a washer dryer? Yep. That's mine. <laughs> you've got are they just normal domestic yep you've got a washer dryer and that is ecologically friendly the dryer is a heat pump yes. so it's not vented and it doesn't waste electricity so it's only a very small amount of power needed to do a drying dryer load hold on love he's got a washer dryer and a jacuzzi and a spiral staircase and a balcony and enough solar power to power all of this with energy prices going through the roof and everyone in chaos. Yeah, you're going to be saving money long term. Solar can power a complete home with three TVs. And you've even got a vacuum. <laughs> There's not like, no, it's not like a 12 volt plug in vacuum. You've got actually a, a huge vacuum. You've got a toilet, toilet, and a little sink there. With a little door. Oh, that's, I like the door. M bit of more storage here, and then where does your where does where does your door go? Well, you can emergency exit. 
Not quite. Not quite. Oh, you haven't got... Oh! Oh my goodness. Hold on, this is just getting more and more mad. Oh, we've got more closed storage here. Overflow. Oh, you can get into the front cab from here. You don't have to go outside. Right. Oh my goodness. Is this your guest room? This is your guest room, you this said. Guest room. Look, we're sat in the front now. Oh, I love it. We're sat in the front. And this... this and there's a bridge. Oh, See, hold this on. Is, hi, this hi. is truly so Oh my goodness. Is this... You got a bed up there too, above the cab. With another AC unit in it. With another AC unit in it. And then you've got a sofa area here with a, a fridge. fridge. And a, a sink. Hot and cold water. Hot and cold and water. a microwave. And then this is the uh, this is the flight deck <laughs> of the monster the monster RV. And then here What is that? That's for the cameras. So I can sit here and uh, backing up whatever. <coughs> and uh, Oh, you actually have a monitor that's bigger than my TV in the van, just so that, to see yeah, your roof, reversing cameras. Yeah, this is the, like uh, a... Well, they, they had this was sort of a floppy thing down here, the buttons for the transmission. So I redid this and... Uh, You've moved it. Moved it. The boat you saw, that'll go on the back. If, if I unhook for the trailer and then the boat goes back there, we can take off and go for a day just in the truck. Yeah with the boat and then we have snacks and drinks and and everything in here and that has to be one of my favorite doors at the back here look at that it's like a little hobbit door it is. okay guys thank you very much for the most amazing tour thank, thank you my you. friend thank you thank, thank you very much thank thanks for having us you. <laughs> and you guys have the most amazing truck and you are a genius <laughs> And you're a genius because you married him and you're a genius because you married her. You're fantastic.